Greetings fellow humans, I'm Linda Lee and today I'm on the scene here at Walt Disney Studios and we're about to sit down with the cast of the new Disney Plus movie, Timmy Failure Mistakes Were Made. So I'm here with the kids of the cast for the Timmy Failure movie. Um, so hi guys. Hi. hi. My name is Linda Lee and I'm so honored to meet you guys today. <laughs> Thank um, you. As kids on a Disney movie set, what was it like for all of you behind the scenes when the cameras weren't rolling? We used to like go to dinner all the time with each other. Yeah, remember yes. that one place? I think it was called Colby or something that we yeah. would we would always go there. We oh ate there like gosh, three yes. times yeah, in a row. Did. That's cool. Yum, I love food. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Couple questions for Winslow. So how challenging was it working with the polar bear that was added in later with CGI and were like were there stand-ins, a green screen? Um, well there was really this kind of guy in like a nine foot suit and it was crazy the first time I got to see it. He would go in the suit and then he he, he acted like a polar bear and he did a very good job and it made it so much easier for me to work off of. So when people saw Disney movies like 101 Dalmatians and Beverly Hills Chihuahua Everyone got all excited and rushed out to adopt cute little dogs and spotted puppies like in the movie. So what can you say to calm down all the upstate viewers who will not be able to rush out and adopt a pet polar bear after seeing Total in this film? Um, it would be very expensive to feed that. Um, so, I mean, that would be a lot of work. Where would you have space for that? Like, if I you know. live in, like, the big city, I mean, like... <laughs> You gotta walk it. I, mean, like, I kind of know after seeing that movie, it does, you do want to adopt a polar bear. So were there any sort of fun failures or mistakes accidentally made that happened while filming this movie? So like any bloopers, pranks, forgotten lines? Uh, yeah, well, I messed up so many times. Oh, so, so many times. Scene. Also, when we did the treehouse scene, it was, it was hard to get the, the cat, cat was not lap. listening. It was not, okay, I mean, we had to like put food, like cat food, like, on, on my leg, leg and, and then they kind of and then the cat yeah, they, they kind of they had to throw the cat <laughs> so what was the favorite scene from the film that you were in or scene that you think people are really going to enjoy there's the scene where there's the light switches there's like five light switches and then it's like power to portland and i <laughs> turn around and, and i do this eyebrow thing that and i'm smiling so <laughs> yeah i mean she's evil and it, it shows that she's evil in that scene you know, my favorite scene was when me and Winslow are like running away from the security guard in the bank and I knock it to the side and then I bump right into the door and like fall down on my back. You know, I think one of the most important scenes, especially in Timmy Failure, is the scene where Winslow saying goodbye to his polar bear and letting him go off to the zoo. Oh, and yeah. It's an important and sad part of the movie, you know. This kid has to say goodbye to his childhood friend. I mean, you know, it's his partner. And yeah. It's kind of hard to, you know, say goodbye to friends like and that. Yeah, that, friends. like, I almost started crying. That was so sad. I know. And that, and the bear kind of represents his absent father. Um, and, yeah, yeah and, and even in the film, Timmy calls, calls it, you know, Papa Bear. I also like the one where Timmy and Rolo, they're in their sumo wrestling. Um, oh, yeah. That, that was the first Rolo, scene we ever shot, ever. Yeah. Yes, that and was, that was the first scene. scene. And like, Rolo was, was like scene. running and all the glass is falling. Yes. That was so <laughs> funny. Well, thank you guys so much um, for talking with me today. I had such a good time. You guys are so much fun. But you're so sweet. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, so thank you so much. It was um, nice meeting you. It was yeah. so nice meeting yeah. you. Yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you. It was yeah. so nice meeting thank you. you guys too. So I'm here with some of the cast from Timmy Failure, the adults. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an arguable point. Any day now. <laughs> so last night, Disney premiered the movie at the El Capitan Theater, and it was as huge as like a major Hollywood red carpet premiere. So how does it feel to get that big debut for this film? Amazing. <laughs> it was everything you just described. We were on Hollywood Boulevard um, with that kind of huge, big bash. It was amazing. I, I had a big, goofy smile on my face the whole time. It was wonderful. It was, you're just seeing all the kind of the lights going off and everyone seeing the posters. It's, just, it's, it's a great way to celebrate it, definitely. I invited everyone I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> So, were there any sort of like fun failures or mistakes accidentally made that happened while filming this movie? Like any bloopers, pranks, forgotten lines, crazy weather? 
Well, I mean, I think people expected me to fall off the Segway, and that didn't right, happen. Right. I had a pretty serious bicycle accident in the nude bicycle scene. <laughs> I don't even remember the actual moment of flying off the bicycle, but I remember the moment of landing. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, what was the favorite scene from the film that you were in, or a scene that you think people are really going to enjoy? One of my favorites would be a spoiler. Timmy in a truck. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it's, okay. Um, okay. It's so beautifully filmed it comes at this beautiful point in the movie it reveals a story element that we were we did not know so there's this big gasp at the end of it when you realize what, what the, the story element that it's revealed it, it's very thematically relevant because it celebrates the sort of jumping off a cliff risk of, of imagination and just sort of letting yourself be free and so I was very moved by this scene but I can't tell you too much about it I'm not in this scene but to look at the scene of the very first time that we see um, Total, the polar bear, on his ice flow. That's in the first few minutes of the movie. That's unbeatably beautiful. So what's the message of To Me Failure that kids and families should take away when seeing this? I think the message to be that you should um, let your imagination run wild and that you should not um, curtail anyone's imagination that it's that wonderful things can happen it's, it's a lovely message and just to keep that playfulness in your life be weird <laughs> and, and celebrate your uniqueness and and know that the person next to you that's probably nervous about celebrating their weirdness wants you to celebrate your weirdness so that they can then celebrate their weirdness and every, <laughs> no one's as scary as you think they are because they all just are waiting for someone to give them permission to be like oh I, I do that too yeah that's one of the wonderful things about about this movie and, and that Portland's kind of another character in the movie because Portland is is uh, a, a city that really celebrates its unique its unique spirit thank you <laughs> We are adults. So-called. We are the so-called adults of Timmy Failure. And uh, we are very excited to share this movie with you guys. February 7th on Disney+. Plus. Well, guys, I had such an amazing and fun time talking to the cast of Timmy Failure. It was so fun. We were laughing the whole time. It was amazing. Do not miss it when it debuts on Disney Plus on February 7th. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to take a second and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more great Kids First content. From red carpet interviews, DVD and movie reviews, and much more from my fellow reporters. On the scene from Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California, I'm Linda Lee, reporting for Kids First. Thanks for watching. Note for file, we're done. Bye! <laughs>